We can review from the Ingram Angle segment tonight, something good turned into something bad. A Super Bowl advertisement for Cheerios features a nice family scene. Hey, Gracie, you know how our family has daddy and mommy? And me. Yeah, that's right. Pretty soon, you're going to have a baby brother. A puppy. Deal. Well, after seeing that ad, here's what MSNBC's official Twitter account put out there. Quote, maybe the right wing will hate it, but everyone else will go, ah, the adorable new Cheerios ad with the biracial family. Unquote. Now, for a cable news network to officially sanction something like that is simply deplorable. And now, of course, MSNBC has apologized, saying, quote, Earlier, this account tweeted an offensive line about the Cheerios ad. We deeply regret it. It does not reflect the position of MSNBC. But as we all know, it happens almost every week over at that place. They're constantly apologizing for personal and vicious attacks. Joining us now from Washington, Laura Ingram, who herself is the head of a mixed race family. Now, they fired the person who tweeted that. Yeah. But, eh, you know, I don't even think it's that person's fault. And here's why. The culture over there, we just finished talking about how the culture is keeping uh, African Americans in some areas poor. And the culture over there is let's hate conservatives. That's what it is. Yeah, I think it's a one-upsmanship that's going on over at MSNBC. It seems like every week uh, we're talking about another uh, controversy over there. Someone says something really boneheaded, ha hateful, vile. Uh, remember it was the Christmas card, the Romney Christmas card a couple of weeks back where something doesn't belong there. And uh, yeah, I, mean, I think that was on one of the cables. I think it was MSNBC. Yeah, they it was all, MSNBC. Start... It, was yeah. The, it was the black child that had been adopted yeah. by the Romney family right. in the so, picture. And then they but, made fun. But look, you have been a victim of it. We're not going to go over that. We're not going to. Yeah. Everybody knows Comcast that owns NBC knows this is one after the next, after the next, after well, the next. Yeah, and Bill, we've pointed out before that the Comcast CEO has raised a lot of money for President Obama. Had it, uh, yeah, but he Obamas, can't lie. That's Roberts, right? He doesn't yeah. like this stuff. I, I'm, I'm sitting well, here just aghast. If you don't like it, Bill, then why? He if can they don't do like it, then why does it, it continue? So I if this know. would, this would never happen. Okay, this would never happen at a place like Fox. So it's, this wouldn't be a culture where, where you know, you disagree, you have disagreements, but it doesn't rise to this level. I will tell you, Bill. I think what's going on here is the more desperate the left becomes, the more it becomes obvious that liberalism just isn't working, the more vile and vicious they turn. And, and I don't think they can even stop themselves. It's like a Pavlovian response. Otherwise, they're going to have to talk about how the country is turning against Obamacare and Obama's policies, and they don't uh, like what he's doing to the country. They can't do that. So it's, okay, they're racist. They don't like brown-skinned people. Uh, immigration, uh, you know, uh, opposition is all racist. I mean, th this is where it's all all going to go because they have nothing else. It, they're out of tricks and their bag of tricks. And this is the last card. They always drop it. And I'm glad Phil Griffin apologized. But something something is really uh, unhinged over there. Something's wrong. Up. No doubt about it. Yeah. Now, you've adopted three children from uh, yes. Central America, right? Uh, well, my daughter's from uh, Guatemala and my two sons are from Russia. So we oh, from have Russia. A, okay. we, yeah, we have kind of a crazy uh, mix uh, at our house, but it's fun. But I think most Americans respect you for doing that. You saved three babies. Uh, you brought them to America, um, and now they're going to get a chance at a great life, whereas in Guatemala, with all due respect, a very poor country, impoverished, yeah. Russia's chaotic. Yeah. Um, and I think that more and more Americans are celebrating, you know, this kind of a situation, which is why the Cheerios commercial is a positive for... Oh, that's great. Yeah. And why can't we just all be happy? There's actually I don't know. a that, family. That, why does it have to be used that way? Right. I mean, I don't know how you get from that commercial to that comment, except they're desperate because liberalism is having a really bad several years. Okay, so that's why they're upset. I think it's really about them hating what's going on to their movement versus what they really probably even think. So the about. commercial is just a vehicle to vent. Yeah. In general, that's probably I think the so. case, right? Okay. All right, Laura. Thanks very much. We appreciate it. Directly ahead.